One of the many gifts I love about this parish where I'm serving here at St. Luke's in Milwaukee is the fact that whenever we have a formal prayer service, um, there's so much more God that kind of seems to spill out of that prayer service. And, and what I mean by that is it's really common here in our formal prayer services, whether that's Wednesday morning prayer on Zoom or Wednesday evening to Zay prayer or our Sunday Eucharist, is that um, the, while there's a, a formal prayer service, people come either early or stay late to, to connect with each other, each other, to check in with each other. Um, and we see that most clearly at our coffee hour following a Sunday liturgy where people stay to converse and connect and support one, one another and break open life with one another. But even on Zoom morning prayers, people come in early or linger after to, to check in with each other or to say prayer Wednesday night, the same thing happens. And as wonderful as our formal liturgies are and as prayerful as they are, they don't fully contain God. God seems to overflow in both the front end and the back end of a prayer service with lives being broken open and connections being deepened and formed here. And I really value that as a priest because it gives me an opportunity to connect more deeply to the people I'm really grateful to serve here at St. Luke's. Now, I think of that scripture passage from the first book of Kings where Solomon, after dedicating the temple, utters this prayer in chapter 8 and in verse 27 says, Lord, if even the highest heavens can't contain you, how much less this house which I have built. Solomon celebrating in awe and wonder this gift that God cannot be contained, but continually finds ways to overflow from even the containers we build uh, for God. And that really truly is a gift that in, invites us to pause and pray today, reflecting on where it is we've experienced gifts like love and peace and comfort and support uh, overflowing into our lives. Uh, and as we allow our lives to be filled up again and anew with appreciation for that gift, then we too become vessels of that same gift, uh, of this divine presence and life uh, filling up and, and eventually overflowing from us too, all so that it can keep spilling into this world. God's peace and blessings to you all.